Hey. Yeah, baby. That right. was not Welcome private... back. <laughs> That's not in the private <laughs> comments section. What? <laughs> Whoever asked that question. Oh, that was comment. me. <laughs> that's, that's for everybody to see. I don't know what's oh, going really? on. Oh, really? I don't know. I just said. Uh, okay. I'm okay. in charge. <laughs> okay. Cool. In any case, yeah. we're, we're right. back with another live episode. Of yeah. not a strong start live off Kevin. topic. <laughs> I'm the doing great, guys. <laughs> off you to a strong captain. start. <laughs> you're off the rails. You're off the rails. Everyone's off the rails. Marie, you're doing good. Keep it up. There's <laughs> rails. Doesn't said anything yet. <laughs> Keep it together for you guys. Phenomenal, guys. Great. George, you want to intro us? Yeah. As always, <laughs> I am George. <laughs> 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 if you want, if you want to proceed with and, the show. And to my left, we have Dan. Daniel. Are you on my left or are we on my right? Uh, I'm on, on my computer, left. you're on my left. I'm on. Left. He's on your right to me. Yes. I don't know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're in our hearts. Well, yes. Aw, uh, forever in our hearts. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. So I'm Daniel. Hi. <laughs> so where are we going? I'll go. I'm Marie. Hi. And I'm, also. <laughs> and I'm Kevin. Hi. 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 With Hi. our powers combined, we are Nas off topic. <laughs> Woo. Heart. Yes. Heart. Yes. <laughs> okay. So how has everyone been? I've been gone for a while, but it's Me nice too. to see friendly faces. Mm -hmm. I've been good, man. I've been in the middle of moving. So now I'm finally done with the old house. Now I'm living in the new house, but I started decorate it's one of the last things i always end up doing procrastinate where's your movie po your movie poster what, what does that mean oh the piece of paper <laughs> <laughs> at first i thought marie was mocking my movie posters like like no. oh they're movies and i was like what <laughs> you don't like the star wars no because clockwork orange is a film she knows marie knows thank you thank you for that marie thank you yes it is a film yeah, um, it fell off. The tape fell off with the heat. Oh. <laughs> so, with the heat. Oh, oh my gosh! It. It's still like a hundred. It's it's. Uh, we're about to hit October, and where I'm at, it hit a hundred degrees today. Oh yeah, it was hot over here too. Yeah, that is insane. It was it was, it was like forty five degrees yesterday morning. Here, <laughs> you're lucky. Oh, it's like dream hot. weather. Five. It's you jealous. guys like that? You want that cool crispness? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me that crisp okay. fall yeah. feeling. Bring it down. Bring it down. Mm -hmm. Please. Just throw pumpkin <laughs> yeah. spice right in my face. <laughs> Take the, the hot or cold. <laughs> yeah. Hot or cold. <laughs> Kevin loves pumpkin spice. Why not? It. You got a problem with that, Dan? No, I'm just keep giving you a I shout think... out. I think I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> from pumpkin spice. If pumpkin spice is a brand. You should be the spokesman. Aww. Do you like the lattes? I think I'm the only oh. white girl who doesn't like pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's like lattes in general. I just like the taste of pumpkin. Everything. That's it. It doesn't matter. Okay. Latte. I don't know what latte. What does latte even mean? Milk? Yeah. Milk. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like half water, half milk, or some some coffee's in there, but not much. Yeah. The splash, <laughs> splash tan. That's all it Although is. Although I saw pumpkin Oreos once. Yeah. Was it good? <laughs> <laughs> Did you try that? Um, <laughs> no, because I was embarrassed. As much as I wanted to try them, I was embarrassed uh, to stand in the line to buy them. Why is pumpkin yeah. buying pumpkin so embarrassing? For it you, know what? you should make a short film. I don't know. I love it. I did. <laughs> no, 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 wait. You already did. And you can find did. that on YouTube. Pumpkin spice for men. There you go. <laughs> Oh, that's yes. awesome. That sounds great. Yes. Yes. Well, all right. with all that, yes. let's push that aside for now. <laughs> what has everyone been, been watching? What's what's on your keeping it real moment for this week? Um, I was watching Dahmer. I started watching oh, Dahmer. Yeah. And I oh. think it's just so weird that like Jeffrey Dahmer is just randomly famous again. <laughs> just the waves like every every other decade just like oh hey remember this guy who used to eat people let's make another show or movie about him and remind everybody about how awful he was yeah i guess we could thank uh, ted bundy and all those other yeah. serial killers mm -hmm. for that yes mm -hmm. how's evan peters in it good 
I mean, as good as a serial killer uh, <laughs> like Jeffrey Dahmer can be. No, nah, he was good. He, uh, I mean, I didn't know Jeffrey Dahmer personally, but he he seems very <laughs> Dahmer like. Seems like a nice guy, right? No. Yeah. Maybe. So, uh, the, the from a, would you say I, like I should fear him? Uh what should you fear a serial killer who eats men and drugs men? Yes. But primarily dark men. Then yeah, yes, you should yes, be. So, so I'm safe. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Please, there I'm you safe. go. <laughs> I'm extra safe. So I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin looks like Dahmer. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I look like I look like uh, uh, just a, a straight uh, a white male. <laughs> yeah. Like every Wait, yep, nailed it. I was about to yeah, say straight white, white male, but like white. Jeffrey Dahmer was gay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert! I haven't watched the show yet. Damn! You ruined the whole show. <laughs> Decades later, you didn't know Dahmer know, was dude. gay. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Evan Peters is great, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Michael. Yeah. That's Michael. Then, no dark. <laughs> no dark. <laughs> uh, clearly, it was the tastiest. So. Well, now we know Mr. Miracle's Man. preferences then. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's coming for you, Kevin. He's coming for you. Being yeah. straight is gay. Yep. That's <laughs> right. Especially in 2022 now. Nobody knows what anything is these yep. days. No, no. Okay, so the project. So what? Yes, I finally finished watching Cobra Kai. Okay, yeah, I did too. Okay. Um, I'm not loving this last season, man. (laughs) The show's just like, and it should have ended about two seasons ago, in my opinion. Um, I love Johnny in it. Uh, I still like Dan Daniel Larusso, but like the kids, it feels so Power Rangers to me, like so Say by the Bell. (laughs) The storylines, I'm just like, ugh. The dialogue, like, oh my god, Crease. Uh, well, well I mean, well, the, well, the so kids, the kids have strange. never been good in the show, really. Except yeah, the first it's true. Yeah. I never but really watched it for the kids. This season feels more heightened. Like, if you watch season one, you know, you you see, um, damn, what's the uh, Miguel? I'm trying to think what the yeah, Miguel. Um, it, the tone fell a little more serious in this one. The dialogue is so cringe to me when I'm watching it. I like Silver as a villain, but the dialogue is so cringe in this season more than it's ever been. I feel like it's just way over the top for me. I kind of feel like it actually matches Karate Kid Three with how over the top it is. You know, like I feel like I yeah. Well, because that's when Silver was cheesy. Though (laughs) it was cheesy, and that's like one of the things. It wasn't a great. It wasn't a great Karate Kid. Yeah. No. I will say though, I am happy that. Finally, this season, there's like no beef between Johnny and Danny LaRusso. Like, finally, no yeah. more stupid miscommunication yeah. storylines. But, like, honestly, this, like, I loved this season. I really liked it. I mean, of course, you're never going to beat the first, at least the first season, the first couple of seasons. That's when Johnny was at, at his prime for the show. That's when he was funniest to me. Yeah. But yeah. Um, this one for me was Chosen, dude. I love Chosen. Marie, do you watch? Yeah, the- Chosen was great. You don't watch Cobra Kai, do you? I haven't. I haven't seen it. <gasps> you should watch it. <laughs> okay. The first two seasons. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, but not the third season, right? Unless I'm like really into Power part. Rangers and stuff. Okay. <laughs> exactly. You don't. <laughs> yeah. Were you well, a Power Rangers girl? Five. I was a Sailor Moon girl. I watched Sailor Moon a lot. Okay, this is oh, very same nice shit. Just Sailor no Max. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Robbie and Miguel undefeated together. Yeah, they were. I, I don't mind that, but like Robbie in particular, oh my God. Like there was just, there was so many times where I was just watching the show and I was just like, oh, do they really just say that? Like, do they really just say that? Like, I can take a little bit of cheese, but it was just, it's so, it's gotten to a point where it's become a parody of itself. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's just not believable, man. It's just so mm-hmm. not believable. I'm not buying any of the world that they're presenting to me anymore. It just, no. I I'm will good. say though, like one of the things that I really didn't like about the series is that their season finales have been really good. They've been like so like epic that yeah. when the next season starts, they spend like two or three episodes wrapping up what happened in the previous yeah. season. So that it never really it doesn't yeah. breathe until about like 
episodes like three or four and like every season. Yeah. But now the way that this season ended, I feel like they didn't make that mistake. And so I'm 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 excited. I like it. You know what, Dan? F you. The season was great. <laughs> you know what, Kevin? <laughs> this F was a you. great season. Defend you had the three Miguel original the bad boys teaming up, bro. <laughs> Come on. How cool was that? So, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Show me Miguel with his dad. Like that, that was so dumb. Absolutely that was absolutely nothing. dumb. But like the last yeah. couple of seasons, every <laughs> first you. couple episodes were awful because they're wrapping up shit that happened the previous See, season. Marie? If that doesn't sell you on this show, I don't know what will. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get angry but also happy, watch Cobra Kai. Watch Cobra Kai. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's not enough things in the world or in life that's going to make you angry. <laughs> Cobra Kai, the first couple episodes, is going to get you every time. It's consistent. Yeah. We like consistency. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. We're doing a good job. We got to watch it. We got to yes, watch it. Pretentious. Oh, fuck off, Mr. Miracle. <laughs> you're pretentious, okay? <laughs> Just for that, you got a one-second display of your comments, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marie, what did you watch? Um, I watched the first episode of Andor. Okay. Yes. But okay. but watched it with my kids. So it was and my daughter never sits still and she's always running around and talking and it's just like Ooh. so the focus wasn't I think I need to rewatch it. But I did okay. like the more adult, gritty, dark feel like uh mm -hmm. it's even like more so than than Rogue One, but uh yeah. I don't know. I liked I like the I like the feel and the vibe of it so far, so I like this more adult Star Wars stuff that they're trying to do. It's like so opposite from the prequels. Thank the Lord. Yes. <laughs> or thank the maker, I should say. Thank the um, hey, I kind of like the prequels. I'm not going to lie. They're, because they're awful. Because they're awful. Just let me clarify. <laughs> you, know, you know, Kevin, fuck you. The prequels suck. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. See, that's, Kevin got two oh. fucks so far. In this that's episode. fine. I don't care. I He's love watching the, the, nothing like a good old oh. train wreck. Good old like, fuck. You know what I mean? Cantor <laughs> bore like. <laughs> well, I did say it was adult, like so it. maybe that's like why. It. And Mr. there's also going to be like, like no, uh, no fan service, like by, by bringing in like cameos from classic characters or even mentioning because they're keeping it very just localized to exactly what you know, basically Rogue One was, and mm -hmm. um, everybody's going to die. There's going to be lots of deaths. So I'm excited to see that. But I like yeah. Andor. I thought it was. I, I I haven't watched the newest episode. I only watched the first three. Yeah, uh, it's the same. I've only I still got to watch the fourth one. But the second and third one really picked up. The whole three episodes. They? Run, yeah, okay. They picked up. I like it. The bad guys are really annoying in Andor. I will say that. I I think that the, the, you like you know like what what's that company that they are that like it's not the Empire it's something no. else that they are like what are they yeah. I forget their name but. But those guys, oh my God, they're so they're like those those little little fucking pricks that have to do everything <laughs> by the book, and it's just like you just want to you just you just want to snuff them in the face because they're so annoying. Like you and know, they're like, always drinking pumpkin spice lattes, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> 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 Fuck those guys. F those guys. Uh, yeah. oh, they're all Jared Leto's to me. <laughs> okay. 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 He hates. He hates. Jared wow! Leto. Don't even get me started. Them. What? Wait, no. I want to. I want to know what started. I want to know what started your hatred for him, though. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't think it ever. I think it, what started it is just seeing him from the first time. I've never liked Jared Leto. There was always something about him that I just could, couldn't stand. He's not even in Andor. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's how much I, I, know. I, I will plug like, him into everything I can. Say. He's just sitting there watching our live stream right now. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what did I do? It's Mr. Miracle. <laughs> Morbin time. Morbin time. All right. No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Jordan. Is it obvious that I'm not watching Andor at all? Because while you guys are talking about it, I'm just like, yeah, that was me during Cobra Kai. I'm like, I was oh, just yeah, about good, to good say good that was Marie. <laughs> good points. Yeah, you're selling me on not watching it. Got it. <laughs> Definitely watch Dahmer, though. Yeah, I, I do want to see that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's on my queue to watch. <laughs> Fuck you, I, guys. Am. <laughs> I said it. I knew it. I've known it all along. <laughs> oh, man. All right, George, what about you? What, what did you watch? Did you already share it yet? I huh? No, I have not. I have not shared what I what I watched. Uh, I finally got to watch everything, everywhere, all at once. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I love that. And I, I, I it. fucking loved it. Yeah. Good. It great. Good. I, okay. I thought it was fucking amazing. And for some reason, my headphones keep on kicking out, and I do not hear everything you guys say. Oh. Okay. Well, then oh, take really? them out. So good times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to sit on Kevin. I might have to go back to my old headphones. <laughs> Listen, I'm not Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> maybe he is. Maybe maybe Mr. Okay. Miracle is. Hello. Well, he's very yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. But anyone it's who hasn't seen that movie yet, definitely watch. I haven't. Watch I haven't it. seen I, it I, yet. I, I, I will say though that uh, everything, everywhere, all at once is. I don't remember laughing so hard in the theater from a, like any other movie. Like Just recently, I was laughing years. so incredibly hard during that movie. That movie was fantastic. I would say the only thing that. I, I maybe didn't like about it was that it felt it felt like it was a little bit too long. It felt like yep. the story wrapped up. I'm like, all right, it's over. And then there was a whole other act. And I was just like, oh, OK, mm. well, yep. it's still cool. But it was it was yeah. really it was really fun. Definitely worth mm -hmm. the watch. I loved it. The sausage fingers. I <laughs> yeah, I think it so had random, everything. Dude. Like, so I was, it was funny. Right, so. There was there was good fight choreography. I cried at one point because of mm -hmm. how emotional it was near the end. Yeah. Like all the all the relationships between the mother and the daughter, and then the husband and wife situation, and just her like with everyone all together with like her own father and stuff. It was super layered, very well done. Like possibly oh, almost another ten. It was almost another ten. Then yeah, return uh -huh. the king ending. <laughs> there you <Right>. go. <clears throat> Yeah, it was, no, uh, I I loved it too, man. It, it was awesome. I felt the same way. It went on a little too long. It was like maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes, a little too long. But it, it was awesome. They did the multiverse better than Doctor Strange did. Doctor oh, Strange absolutely. Did. But you know what was yeah. like so weird is hearing Kihi Kwan talk and he still sounds like when he was a kid. It's so <laughs> it's so weird. I, I feel like I was, you, you're just yeah. watching him and then you just can't like it feels like it, he's still like data from the Goonies. Like it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, did you see that picture of of him of Data with with uh, oh Harrison reuniting Ford? with Harrison Ford? Yeah. Oh, you think he's, oh yeah, you yeah. Think he's gonna cameo in the new up. one, dude. I hope so, nice. man. I, I, I want the re I want him to get his Brendan Fraser resurgence. Like, give him a resurgence too. I yeah. Well, he is. I mean, it's, oh no, because now he's in um. What what is it? He's in he's in Loki. He's in Loki season two now. Yes. Yep. So I saw that. Yeah, he's gonna be in a bu bunch more stuff. Yep. But you yeah, I hope he is Jones. in indie, but I hope it's a total <laughs> fucking surprise secret. Yeah. So like I don't want to know until I go see it. Yeah. All right. There we go. Now I can hear you guys again. Yes, Marie. <laughs> oh, I, I just Temple of Doom was one of my favorite childhood movies. Oh, yes. So I'm mm -hmm. just like, oh loved it. Just, yeah. I'm the no same time way. for love. Like oh my god, that piece of shit, everything <laughs> is so <laughs> fake. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Indiana Jones! <laughs> yeah. to the poison you just drank, Doctor Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, man. dude. That that had one of the best deaths ever. You, yeah. you remember when he when he throws the spike of food into the guys like? Ah! Oh yeah, <laughs> I love the whole like Kalima. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They took the yeah, that was awesome. Here. <laughs> I also love it how when they were recording at that village, they used real people from that village, right? And yeah. that old shaman or whatever, um, mm -hmm. Steven Spielberg had to literally recite the, the dialogue the lines, he didn't and the guy English. would repeat it back. Oh, word nice. For word. You just have to sit there and just repeat it back to him. And then that's what they cut and edited to make it seem like he's. Oh, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't George know until did. I was adult that that's actually a prequel to Raiders. Same. <laughs> and you know the name of the club at the beginning, right? Uh, yeah, the the Obi Wan, right? Uh, Obi Wan. No, 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 the Kenobi, something like that. You know, it, it's it's Club Obi Wan. Yeah, it was called Club Obi Wan, and it's because uh, mm -hmm. Harrison Ford, uh, not Harrison Ford, Steven Spielberg really wanted to make a James Bond movie, and so that's why he yes. kind of had like that James Bond opening with like Harrison yeah. Ford in a tuxedo uh, and everything. So he was even like put really him in the same tuxedo. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yes, All right. the resurgence. All right, George. <laughs> That's nice. Moving on. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Are you drinking blood? <laughs> Freaking them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My life source. <laughs> yes. All right, George, we want right. to move on to our next. Yeah. <laughs> 
so this week we'll have a we have a new game, a new topic, which is what we're going to call "Fix It in Post," mm-hmm. where we try to take plots, plot holes from films, and fix them. Mm-hmm. Now, this can yes. be from the best films all the way to the worst films. I suspect that I'm going to pick some films that are going to upset some people. Possibly okay. in our own circles, and I'm all for so, it. <laughs> so George created a game where he gets to gripe and is forcing us yeah. to gripe. <laughs> this yeah. is the theme. This is the theme. Am, am I right? Yeah. 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 Well, but but I I come with solutions. I come with some duct tape. Because <laughs> <laughs> everything is fixed in post. As I'm actually we really yeah, excited right. to see what everybody came up with because I know we had to come up with a bunch of these. So I'm excited. I'm like <laughs> I'm stoked because I have my own. Let's do it. All right, so I'll I'll kick it off so we can see what it what this looks like. <laughs> use a plot hole. I want to be in his hole. Oh come on, Mr. Miracle. Keep it again. You can't fit in the hole. You can't. <laughs> oh. oh. Does that mean it's a big hole or is it a small? I was say, hole? Is it gaping or is it <laughs> I don't know. No, or do you know. even have a hole? Is it this or is it that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but when it appears, for some reason, the Godzilla song pops up. <laughs> <laughs> the one from P. Diddy, right? <laughs> he doesn't even have a hole. He, yeah. is, he has an Audi, not an innie. <laughs> an Audi? Oh, no. no. <laughs> Ronnie. I have, an, I have an everything bagel. That's what I have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my mental image is not... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Blue to not. the live show, people. Uh... <laughs> Unfiltered. Off topic. Mm. All right. Okay. All right. What's your hole, George? George, what's yeah. your hole, bro? Right, so what is the, it? The movie I have chosen to go with first <laughs> is the, the Batman. Okay, cool. So in the Batman, everyone loves this film. Great film, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, Not we have everybody to... loves it. Not everybody loves You're it. You're right, because I don't. I do. And one of the one of the big <laughs> <laughs> one of the big problems with it, besides the fact that he's not a detective, is that he doesn't get hurt through the whole film. Despite mm-hmm. the fact that he gets a bomb in the face, <laughs> slams into a, into a bridge at like over a hundred miles per hour, and then gets shot in the body by high caliber weapons, shotguns, rifles. Dude just keeps on coming like nothing's going on. Bulletproof vest. So, sounds the, like you, Michael Myers. Your your excuses will mean nothing towards what I've just said. <laughs> 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 Bulletproof vest does not save you from a bomb. Yes, but in, in any case, here here is the solution to this. He's Batman. No, <laughs> that's it. And sorry. <laughs> in, in year, this is second year, right? This is year two, Batman. So what happened year one? In my my fix, in year one, Batman kills Superman. Kind of like how BVS was, where like Batman saw Superman as a villain, as someone who is going to hurt the world. What if he actually succeeded and he killed him? Now that fight was obviously a big fight. He gets hurt. And everything it's it's not he's not gonna come out unscathed so with that he's he's kind of recuperate he has superman's body he starts realizing that superman's body doesn't decay because it's a kryptonian body it stays whole over time so what he does is he takes his body and he ends up in fashioning it into his suit and so the bat suit actually has superman's body in it and that's how he's able to withstand all that damage through the whole film Yo, he's Jeffrey Dahmer, dude. Not bad. <laughs> like, what the hell? He doesn't eat Superman. He wears Superman. Yeah. He's more. Buffalo he's more Bill like Buffalo Bill. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a whole body. Well, I mean, that's, that's weird. I mean, like if he if he killed Superman in his first year, everything else is downhill, dude. Like no villain can go up against him. I just think of, he he. So in his first year, he killed Superman and he put the Joker. He let the Joker live. I guess, and just put the Joker in jail. Well, I have I have a thing with that too. Since okay. he killed Superman, <laughs> yeah. he he learns that Superman was actually he wasn't a bad guy, and he was actually sent to protect Earth. So now he has that guilt <laughs> th- just weighing on him, and that's why through so through this whole film, like you know, in the Batman, like he is, his fighting is very sloppy. There's no actual technique to it. You know, he's almost too violent, but at the same time, he doesn't really kill anybody. That's because with every punch, he's fighting within himself of whether killing is worth it. Like, is is it the right path towards, you know, serving vengeance and justice because of that guilt that he has for killing Superman, a righteous man? 
Damn, this, this is, is this longer. twisted imagination Thorough. of yours. How did he kill Superman? I need to know how he killed, figured out how to kill Superman. Oh, well, you saw BBS. No longer... He had the kryptonite and everything. Yeah. He still has his kryptonite and he had the suit and everything. And he... imagine if he won that battle. And in, in BVS, he almost killed Superman. Yeah. You know, until Martha was said. So what if Superman never says Martha? So <laughs> that's what this all comes down to. If Superman okay. never says Martha, then we get a Batman who kills Superman and then becomes a Superman. Very interesting. So the Batman takes place after BVS then? Right? Because you're the No, Batman. this is think of think of a multiverse. This is like a multiverse. Oh, okay. So this is in a different world where he he faced off against Superman, you know. And, and this okay. is all be, all because he, he he you say he never gets hurt. What about that scene when he like he had his shirt off and he was all covered with bruises and scars? Well, scars are from when he fought Superman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just ask. You have to admit if you yeah. no matter how good his armor is, taking a, an explosion to the face as close as I am to my microphone, even Batman should get hurt, and he doesn't even have a concussion or broken ribs. Okay, is it his skin that he's wearing? Is it his bones that he's wearing? Is it his organs? Like, what is, is it ground no, up when into the side like, out of it... the building? He then he hit the ground. He like limped away, so he was hurt. He he hit a bridge. He hit a bridge, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was Looney Tunes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I said, oh, Superman. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So in the yeah, um, he could probably get Superman, turn him into like a ground beef texture, yeah. and spread it underneath his costume. Or like Spring cremate, cre cre cremate, and like put like ground mm. it into something, like put yeah, it yeah, in. Something. I don't. Alfred would know what to do. He'd yeah, make some he'd sort know. of concoction. I, I just <laughs> like how he just like. He, he he so he regrets killing Superman though, right? <laughs> like, yeah, just like yeah. As soon as he sees Superman, we gotta kill this guy. Like not even that's just <laughs> funny to me. Yes. Okay. Okay. So who wants to go next? Kevin. Okay, I'll go next. Mine <laughs> is okay. um from the Friday the Thirteenth franchise. Okay. Kevin. What? Careful what you say. Why? <laughs> we love Friday the Thirteenth. Yes, so it's, favorite, I, it's his what favorite franchise. <laughs> we love Friday the Thirteenth. I fucking love I'm Friday the Thirteenth. I'll fucking fight you about it right now. Okay. So this. <laughs> Jason Voorhees <laughs> dies as a child, but okay. is a grown man in the sequels. So how could he grow when he was, you know, dead? And so I came up with this idea that maybe okay. he never really died. Okay. He was like, he was a mama's boy and she left him off at camp and he was mm -hmm. engaging in attention seeking behavior, maybe jumped okay. in the water when the counselors weren't paying attention and just swam off and ran away. So everybody thought he drowned. Right. Right. And then he yes. realized that, like, his mom was, like, super pissed. And she was he's like, oh, shit, I better just stay hidden because I don't want my mom to kill me. And so he just yeah. lived in the woods and grew up there and then saw his mom get murdered. And then he just started doing murdering. That was my solution. To how started Jason doing murdering. Started, yeah. doing murdering. <laughs> started doing murdering. Started doing murdering. Started doing murdering. Love yeah. it. It's like painting. Yeah, it's like yeah. painting. What yeah. are you doing? I'm painting. Yeah. No, I'm just murdering. <laughs> started doing painting. Exactly. Hashtag murdering. What else That's, is he going to yeah. do? He has to mm -hmm. avenge his mom because he didn't start murdering until after she died. Who cooks for him? <laughs> he, he doesn't. He's he an has, adult. He just he, fucking does he eat? eats squirrels and dogs and shit. Yeah. That's it. Maybe mm -hmm. he eats his victims. Mm -hmm. So he's Jeffrey oh, Dahmer. See, Here we the go. Theme, theme of the whole episode. So the yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Everything everywhere all at once. Dahmer yeah. and all these different <laughs> universes. Got it. All right. I get it. But, but that's a plot hole I always thought about that. I always like... It's it's a plot hole that that people just easily forgive and don't care about, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? They're just like he died when he was a kid, but now he's a full grown man, killing people and alive somewhat until part six when he's a zombie now. But like that's yeah, I just <laughs> I just always found that like a, a fun little plot hole and it always came up with my own theories. But that was a new one. Okay, okay. Good. I always Good. thought he was just bloated from the water. Yeah, <laughs> he was bloated. Yeah, super bloated. <laughs> <laughs> like vertically also so here's my question and so because my thing when i watching it was always like how do we get mongoloid jason at the end of part <laughs> one who's like probably child preteen mm -hmm. when he, he comes out of the water and grabs the girl into the water yeah yeah it was a dream and then yeah and then come on man fuck that dream shit it was a dream all of jason's <laughs> a dream then all of it's all a dream, dream. Oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> 
your dream. Well, because then if that's not a dream, then that would just explain how he grew. He was just alive the whole time, right? Yeah, With I mean, well, they I think they didn't they say that it was a dream at the end because like he like jumped out of the water and then she woke up, and so you know, I want to blow what well, okay, sure, <laughs> blew it all over my face. I don't even know what that means. I, neither do oh, I. Spray but it. Don't say it, Mr. Miracle. I'm down. To I'm going to say that Mr. Miracle has a gut and he wants to put his gut on your face. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ryan. How do you blow it on somebody's face? We need to answer Mr. Miracle. I, I, I would assume a burrito is involved. <laughs> it's absolutely involved. Maybe I'm just, hungry. I'm just hungry for a burrito. Is that what he calls his Audi? His little burrito. (laughs) 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 All right. All right, Marie, you got one? You want to share one? Uh, Yeah. Well, you know, because I have to throw Halloween into everything. (gasps) Ooh, a Halloween plot hole. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Well, I consider the whole new uh, Blumhouse trilogy to have is just one major plot hole to me. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. So the, the thing about it is you're so already Mike, angry. I, I'm like, we're having a stress ball here. I'm trying to so Michael, my I'm one of those people who love the Michael and Lori um brother and sister storyline. Because it it explains oh puppy Jameson mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Jameson he doesn't care. Um, he can't hear you. <laughs> he can't hear you. Oh, yeah, I can't. Oh. Are, you wearing, are, you wearing headphones? are you wearing headphones, Kevin? Yeah, I'm not. No, oh. no, this is the microphone right here. How oh. are you hearing us? <laughs> the speakers, speakers on my computer. So we can you, hear me, Daniel. Up on your mic? Okay, sorry. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you're, the mic. You're, you're only getting from like this angle, so it doesn't pick you guys up. Are you fancy? A fancy mm-hmm. one. All right, no, you interrupted Marie. All right, Marie, yeah. what's up? No, no, I, and I interrupted myself actually with the dog. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, technically she did. <laughs> I did. Uh, so, because I think it keeps the story going and it keeps why Michael is even. Okay. So, in Halloween Kills, we won't get into my feelings on Halloween Kills, but basically, I, I don't even. I don't remember the cop's name in Halloween Kills. So I'm just like trying to wash that movie away from my brain. But he basically tells Lori, Michael doesn't give a shit about you. Michael doesn't care about you. So, if Michael doesn't care about Lori, why is she even in? The franchise why is it the story about her whole family why is it the the end of the saga of the like the lori and michael like why is like in halloween ends are they gonna like actually make her matter or is she just like some crazy like why does she think that he's coming for her so hard if three of her friends died or whatever and that's it and but she's so certain they should just kept okay so they should have kept them brother and sister because I just would have yeah. explained so much and like it would have been easier for the writers and everything. The writers don't give a shit about Halloween anyway. I don't care. None. Or just just have a completely different story without they just wanted, I think, Jamie Lee Curtis for fan service reasons, whatever it didn't get. Just don't have it her in it. Don't have her in it. She's not gonna be the sister. If, if you're gonna make yeah. three movies with Jamie Lee Curtis in it, then she there has to be a passionate reason why Michael's going after her. Correct. Well, isn't it because uh in the first movie when he returned home that was the first place he went to when he escaped Mm -hmm. and he was sitting in his house and she was dropping off the keys to the Mm -hmm. house and so she approached the house and he saw her and Mm -hmm. she reminded him of his sister so that's why because remember in the first movie they didn't decide that she was his sister yet and so he was just Mm -hmm. so why was he just stalking her the whole first movie is because she reminded him of his sister at least what, what i think is that she reminded him of his sister and so he started stalking her I guess I can understand that as a teenage girl, they would remind him of his sister, but now she's like an elderly woman. So why does he still yeah. care? Well, he's just be killing true. teenage girls over and over, not that sticking with no the same person yeah. over and over. Correct. So I just don't like that. I just don't like yeah. it. I take her as like, she's she's the one that got away. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Right. I like, I like but, you know, kind of like how like Nancy, Nancy from the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Like she got away, and then part three, he's like, "I'm gonna fucking get your ass." Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like you're not, you're but not then, escaping another one. <laughs> but yeah. then, why are they saying in Halloween Kills that she doesn't matter at all? Like, why are they? Why do they make? Oh, because they're dumb. They're dumb. Movie? I think it's because they're just well, they trying, are, to, they're, they're <laughs> trying to tie back the the house back into it for some reason, or give a they new are. revelation. They're trying to have their own revelation, I guess. 
which is just, and the, the whole thing why they made her not his sister is just so that they could cancel out all the other sequels i think because remember th this yeah. is supposed to be a direct yeah. sequel to the first movie so yeah they would yeah. have to they would have to will you stop this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh. Sam Ray yeah. Michael Lark. Oh, no. I was just like, where did he learn these skills? And he's elderly now too. Like, how in the world? And how does he know how to drive a car? Really does. You know, Dude, that, I had that, that too, man. I'll forgive you. Would put that. away when he was dead. Like, how does he drive a car all of a sudden? Yeah. I mean, you probably can figure it out. I think pretty quick. <laughs> Honestly, it, I mean, he, it he out. He was driving like an asshole. I will say that. He, was, <laughs> he was driving he like did. a pedal. Light pedal go. This thing do this. Yeah. Like maybe that's all. That's all he <laughs> Elbows did. up and he's driving. He did drive like that. Uh, okay. He did. He did. One way okay. he wheel turning the gun drive. But he was in that hospital since he was a little kid, and that was like far away from Haddonfield. How the fuck did he know how to get to Haddonfield? See, tons of plot Google holes Maps. in Halloween. Yeah. I love it. I love it, but tons. Google Maps. I, don't want to get anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I, I grew up in Boston. I travel back there and I forget how to get fucking anywhere now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know, Aaron. Aaron hates skills of the passion. Yes, you do. I do too. We know. I like it. I just like how I just like how over the top it is. It's ridiculous. I do like Halloween kids. Uh, I actually liked it better than the previous one, the 2018 one. <laughs> no words. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Kevin. That's fine. You can fuck me all you want. I, that sounded weird, but uh, so yeah. Already, I don't know. each I don't of care. us have already said "fuck you, Kevin," and Mister Miracle said that as well. So <laughs> we got no, no, I, re I redact mine. Mine wasn't with passion. Mine was too too jovial. You'll get a real "fuck you" later. No. Ooh, <laughs> Can't wait. Gloves <laughs> on and then. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Clearly off Whoa. Whoa. All right, Dan, you got to reel us back in. What's All what's right. your movie? All what right, are you man. fixing? <laughs> um, Star Wars. So oh shit. Make sense. Yeah, Star Wars. Much as I love it, um, it doesn't make sense to me that <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi is like we have to hide these kids, so he takes <laughs> yeah. Luke Skywalker. Puts it back to Vader's old planet and gives him the last name Skywalker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I heard the theory about why the why he did that. Somebody, I, I read a thread online because it's too because obvious. If you notice that, even I guess in A New Hope, he only sends the stormtroopers to Tatooine, and so Vader refuses to step foot on Tatooine, and Obi Wan would know this, and so that you figure the best place to hide him is a place where Vader would never step foot on again. Oh. But okay, but if you hear a kid walking around, the stormtrooper is going to hear of a kid named Skywalker with the last name Skywalker. Mm -hmm. What they should have done, what would have made sense, was throw him to the Dagobah system with Yoda and just had him trained as a kid when he was young. Boom, problem solved. No one would ever known. No one would ever looked in the jungles. True. Unless they, <laughs> unless, unless they wanted that out there, because you know Yoda's oh, Yoda's fucked up, dude. He he kind of likes to stoke, <laughs> he likes to stoke the fires of the force and and like he wants because he wants the balance and the imbalance like you know he he's like he's he's weird like that he'll be like mm, yes yeah. that's weird so like eventually he'll get found again you know like and so he's needed later and yeah. as we've seen in the prequels he totally hangs out with E T and we know E T does the kids it all comes full circle <laughs> it all comes full circle oh God. Yes. Yoda's joining him in this what is yeah. <laughs> It's like an eyes oh wide shut situation going on. It totally oh. makes sense. You see them you, and a bunch of kids. When you go to the sequels, freaking Yoda was on his back, all like freaking massaging. Mm, I know, yeah. Yeah. Strong you are, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he pulled it on his face. Sit with seagulls. <laughs> with seagulls, man. Oh yeah, he God, no. on his face, man. That was all I had. All mine are like plot holes, but not like a lot of uh, ways to fix them. It's just, well, that was a plot hole. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. So, George, and you really wanted to fix it too. I, I gotta give you credit for that. Like, you actually wanted to fix because you love this movie so much that you didn't so really want to find an absurd way. You were like, no, no, this is my baby. I gotta take care of her. I have to. Man. <laughs> uh, I, I, I have one from one of my babies. <laughs> my love. Uh, which one? Well, it's not. Is it my turn again? Or no, no, it's, no, it's George's back, turn. It's back to George. Yeah. All right. Well, I will. I'm gonna tackle another one. That that probably people love a lot, and that's Escape from New York. Okay. 
So okay. in this movie, you know, you got Snake Plissken, uber badass dude visually until he starts going on his mission where he doesn't do anything that helps the mission. Like he never actually kicks anyone's ass. He gets captured eventually, gets his ass whooped some more. The only reason the thing succeeds is by all luck. He lucks out at every turn that at the end they say they save the president or the like they stop the fucking bullshit from happening. Here's my solution of why this goes down this way. <laughs> Snake Pliskin has a brain tumor and he's actually a part of the make a wish program. <laughs> 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 the brain tumor it affects his speech, his eyesight, and his mental capacity to really understand what's going on in his surroundings. Before it got really bad, though, he had a wish, and that wish was to be like on a covert mission to save the world because he loved like those old James Bond Mission Impossible shows from back in the day. So th that was his his thing to, to do. So. The Make-A-Wish gets in contact with the president and the prison state of New York, and they get them to work together to try to help him with this wish and make his dreams come true. So when he goes over there, that's why no one actually really like kicks his ass to a point where he could die. If he was in a prison state of New York, he should have died immediately. Like, one guy is going to beat New York. Okay. It's not going <laughs> to happen. <laughs> So that, that's how he's able to survive all that shit. They're, they're giving them fake guns with rubber bullets. So when they, if they do touch him, it's whatever. He thinks he's his badass. Mm -hmm. It also explains his eye patch. It's because tumors make it so he's blind in that eye. It's not some badass thing where like, oh, I was on a mission. It's like, no, it's just a tumor. He's just dying. Tumors and that's why pirate. glaucoma in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> This just became so pure, like this pure family movie that you did. Aw. Yeah, it became <laughs> sweet. Cute. Thank you, George. Yeah. Yeah. Just for that, Kurt Russell is now nominated for Best Actor. Thank you, George. I like it, also, it also explains like his shitty tattoo on his, on his <laughs> stomach. Man, George hates it, that movie. <laughs> I, say, I love Kurt Russell. Yes. Kurt Russell's amazing. I just really want them to make another Snake Plissken movie. Me too. I see it. I like Snake Plissken. Um, didn't they say the same thing about uh, was it uh, Big Trouble in Little China? Like, doesn't his character also just mess everything up? But here's the thing: he actually does a lot more good in Big Trouble in Little China than he does in Escape from New York. Yeah, in Escape from New York, he doesn't actually do anything to save anybody at all. If anything, he possibly makes things worse at times. But in Big Trouble in Little China, he does kill Lopan. He does help his friend get to the location and, and try to stop these guys. He might not always do the right thing at the right time, but he does some things. He yeah. did help at times. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't be putting hate on my fucking boy Jack Burton. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Kevin. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. We'll go to uh Back to the Future 3. All right. Ooh. What is the main okay. obstacle in Back to the Future 3? Right. Marty goes back to 1885, pokes mm -hmm. a hole in the gas tank, leaks out all the gas. Doc's like, oh, shit, we're all out of gas. A gas station is not going to be around for another you know, like 100 years or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> OK. But at that point in time, there are two time machines there. The one that Doc arrived in, which yeah. has gasoline that's in a cave. So why didn't they just. Go into Siphon the cave, it. get the yeah. gas out of the time machine, put Ooh. it in the current time machine. Boom. Don't have to fuck up a whole train. Okay. Maybe because the gas sat there and it molded and it's not usable anymore. No, a doc would have known how to properly store uh, a car. So he would have taken out all the fluids. And he, he's just not – there's no gas around. You think he's just going to throw gas away? No, he's got that shit fucking stored or it's somewhere in you know? <laughs> Dude, I'm just yeah. saying. True. Could he use that? Could he use the old time machine that was in the cave? Good point. You know, I always felt like, how is this the same doc that figured out that trash can be a fuel source? He didn't he figure could... it out. <laughs> this is a, this is future technology. He went to 2015. Like he didn't figure out how to make things hover. He just did a hover conversion. So he just used the uh, Mister Fusion was already a thing that was in the future. Fusion technology that could just take old food and he just put it into the time machine. I feel, like Doc, I feel like Doc could have figured it out. <laughs> yeah. it, it, for me, it, it puts a damper on how smart Doc was supposed to be. 
Well, it, no, you, you know, know what puts a damn like he keeps contradicting himself too because you're just like, I invented a time machine. I want to go see time. And then he does one time thing. He's like, you know what? We have to destroy the time machine. It's not good. <laughs> and then like again, in 1885, and he's just like, oh, Marty, you're here. We got to time travel again. And then boom, like Marty ends up going off and he stays there. He goes, you know what? I think I need to make a time travel train to go give Marty a picture. It's just like he keeps on fucking like. Why did he make? I can sit here and watch Kevin do both characters. Just do that. Telling me about the time machine. Let me guess, Doc. Holy shit! That's amazing. <laughs> that, that was my Back to the Future three plot. Do hole, Teen so. Wolf next. Do Teen Wolf line as Michael hey, J. Fox. Uh, you know, I think I want to quit the basketball team. <laughs> 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 Michael J. Fox. I got a twelve dollar haircut. I don't need this, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> twelve dollar haircut. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Nice. Excellent work. Thank you. Okay, Marie. All right, Marie, what do you got for us? Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I wrote about a quiet place. <laughs> I said oh, the, no. whole, the whole movie yeah. is the plot hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said about the last one. <laughs> the, I will, I will, yeah. you know what? That I think I was talking to you and I was like, oh, we could think of so many movies. I'm like, oh, there's a huge plot hole there, but I couldn't think of it yeah. at this time. A quiet place was definitely one of them. Yep. <laughs> well, the first note I have is farts, which we've talked about before, Daniel. Very, yes. <laughs> and also having a baby. Like, there's no way anyone would survive. They wouldn't survive if they had a baby. And I'm like, selfish. Having a baby, selfish. <laughs> You're not get pregnant in this scenario. Babies come out crying. There's no way. Yeah. There's absolutely no way. Sneezing, um, like you'd be sneezing, burping, yeah. hiccuping. Like you can't stop that stuff. Just like a stomach growling loudly. Like, I mean, I think yeah. it would happen a lot in that situation. But <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. they also go to that waterfall, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Why didn't they stay there? Why didn't they move there? Why didn't they why didn't they live near the waterfall so they can like have a baby and be like be a little more silenced by the waterfall? Like, why? Yeah. Yeah, why not just there? Also, movie. I find it hard exactly. to believe that like <laughs> these aliens could come down and destroy everything. And this girl figures out what their weakness is with like her hearing aid, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How does how how can nobody else on the planet figure that out? They're sensitive to sound. How isn't all the top people in the government figuring out radio <laughs> frequencies? Or kill scientists like, at all? Yeah. Nah. Nah. I don't. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. No? Yeah. So to fix. So to fix it, I thought just don't make this movie. <laughs> take that, oh, Jim. No. I like. I like. Jim, I like him. Jim take that, Jim. Take, yeah. um, or I said, or have the monsters, <laughs> monsters or aliens, whatever, only hear certain frequencies or something, mm -hmm. or they can't hear certain frequencies, like something to do with the. If they want to do a hearing route, whatever, mm -hmm. make it like where it's only like they can hear like certain things and not certain things. They have to talk a certain way or like not. You know what I mean. Something or like just, that. Yeah, or, just, or just put speakers all throughout the world and just have music blaring the whole time so the aliens can't figure out, you yeah. know? Yeah. There's, there's ways to fix this. There's ways to do it. By not doing it, according to Marie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, was, it was an okay Emily movie. Blind, you didn't need to see it. No, it was okay. It's just, I was just the whole time, I'm like, this, this. Mm -mm. I'm not, I, I agree with you. I agree with you the whole thing. The whole time, I thought it was. I thought it, it was cool, but they had so many plot holes, and at, made me ask more questions about how could they take over the whole planet. Yeah, you know, I, I just had. I, no, no, I didn't buy it. Mm -hmm. No, I will say like, I love this movie very much, and now you have me at a place where I am thinking: if I'm going to question the pregnancy, how quiet was their sex? How quiet that was is, the childbirth? Yeah. Because well, childbirth always to be loud, but the, but the but the, to have sex, like it's the shits, man. I don't. Nobody I've never. I don't know what quiet sex is. Island I don't know what that is. What the fuck is quiet sex? Oh, like, so George right, is a louder. He's a moaner. <laughs> George what is, is a moaner. I'm just saying from moaner. the sound effects that you're making alone. <laughs> like, well, like I'm sorry. <laughs> Kind of buried in there, you just kind of like wiggle it a little bit. You just wiggle it a little. They're stroke, just docking. Dude. They're just docking it in and just laying there. They're doing it Mormon style, just it's letting it you bathe just, in there. You just have like, to use your imagination. You got to pretend that you're moving, and you just leave it in there for a little bit. 
I'm Spanish, dude. Extremely Imagine pleasurable. Spanish, extremely right? pleasurable. Yeah. Oh no no! If you notice, George, the Latinos were gone. We were dead, sir. Yeah. <laughs> we all yeah. died by fucking. We all died with sex. Man. Yeah, we were gone, sir. Yes. All right. My movie that I did. Um, those a few. So I'm gonna go. Okay. You know what really bothered me in, in the movie Predator? Predator Two. What? In Predator One, we established that when he wears the helmet, that's what gives him the heat vision. Mm-hmm. In Predator Two, he takes off the helmet. And he still sees heat vision. It's not his normal vision that they showed right. us in part one. Because in part one, it's just like red blurs and you don't really see it. The The reason why they wear the helmets is because they have the, the heat vision that they use. In part mm. two. Is that, has that off, been established that that is only when they have their helmets on? They've done it in every movie since except for part two. Because and when you see have it, they, have, have you ever because seen he, through the predator's like point of view when he takes? He his does it in off, point when, when they take it off. You see the point of view and it looks different. So in part two, does he do they that? discredited that. I think it's part one that they do that on. Okay. They set it up and they no. establish the rules in part one. So in part two, they took it off and you saw the same heat vision. Mm-hmm. I know there's different predators, but their eyesights aren't different. Well, that was just an awful movie anyway. (laughs) That's a movie just, I'm getting too old for this shit. Like, (laughs) I watched that recently with Pete because I don't think I ever saw Predator 2. I've seen all the Predator movies except for Part 2 for some reason. Wow. And I watched that with Pete. And it was was crying. It was was awful. It was very difficult to get through. (laughs) George is George's. You do like a banshee scream? Or Yoda the <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. All right. Screen. Move on. All right. George, George, what you got? All right. Since we don't have much time, I'll make this one quick. I'll, I'll save my Lord of the Rings one for some other time. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that one also have a long ending. Is that why I can't get <laughs> No, it was actually quicker than the rest. But I like this one. This one's fun. So Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson. Yeah. First, I got to give credit to the comedian uh Black Black Ron. He brought this up in one of his bits about how, like, in Smooth Criminal, the lyrics are as he came into the window was a sound of a crescendo. He came into her apartment with the blood stains on the carpet. She ran underneath the table, could see she wasn't able. She ran to a bedroom, she was struck down. It was her doom. Annie, are you okay? And he repeats, Annie, are you okay to the rest of the song? It's the same shit over and over again. Michael yeah. Jackson witnessed a murder yeah. of someone that he possibly knew because he knew her name. He's like, right. Annie, are you okay? I watched you yeah. get killed. Yeah. But yet he does he nothing murder. to help her. He doesn't help he her. Why? Oh, you figured it out. You figured it out, Kevin. He Michael, get to- Michael has a split personality. And so when he sees the murder, he's now regular. Michael's like, oh, no, what happened? She got killed. <laughs> And when he <laughs> you know, them, he but when he killed bad. her, he was in he was in full on you know, <laughs> mode and everything. And so, <laughs> the impressions tonight. He wasn't. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't Neverland, Michael. He was the other Michael. Got it. So that's that's what I figured out. That because w- watching his thing, I was like, holy shit, that's a good point. Michael Jackson, we fucking watch people getting killed and do shit. It's like because Dude, but, he fucking did it. When you're in the hood, bro, snitches get stitches. You don't say shit. You see, something and you're not gonna rat yourself out. <laughs> Exactly. You guys no. keep quiet, man. Keep it quiet. All right. All right. Kevin? Uh, I have a Jurassic Park one. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Jurassic Park. John yes. Hammond kept on yep. bragging. Wrist, wrist <laughs> no expense. <laughs> fucking throws yes. money at everything. Except everything. he only hires one cheap fucking IT security yep. guy <laughs> for the computer. Yeah. Why didn't he spare expense? Because that's security for the whole park. Yeah. Right? <laughs> He spent money on everything except for the guy to keep the cages <laughs> of dinosaurs. I'm right? a T Rex. <laughs> Nobody cares. Here's my, here's my plot thing. Ned. All right. I believe yeah. that he loved this idea, but he had, but he had also studied Ian Malcolm's, uh, what, what was his uh, chaos theory, right? Chaos so he theory, knew yeah. the park wouldn't be able to survive because eventually dinosaurs would get out. There'd be awful accidents. So he sets up this little visit with like the, the scientists and the shit because he wants them to escape so he can collect the insurance money on the park that he invested in. Right. Ooh. That's a lot of money to buy a fucking Island. That's right. And, and to risk your grandchildren's lives. 
his well, and I had another like theory him. about his grandchildren, right? Why yeah. were his grandchildren there? It, it was very subtle. I don't know if you heard it. Fucking they, kill them, I guess. No, because no, because <laughs> their they're, they're, their parents were getting a divorce. Yeah, and so and he, he did took them for the them. weekend there. Mm-hmm. Nothing like having the parents come back together, like their kids almost dying. Holy shit! Saving their marriage <laughs> at the same time, getting insurance. Fucking say fuck you to me right now, George. Go ahead. I dare you. Say it, George. Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you know another word. I like that. Hey! There we go. That was my you brought the passion with that one. Mm-hmm. You did, man. You would have died on Quiet Place, George. <laughs> you, you know, I, I immediately. Killed. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> no, I'm smart. I would have found a bunker and fucked in the bunker. They couldn't get through all metal. They <laughs> How would I risk my grandchildren by? Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Per- yeah. Perfect alibi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Marie. Um, <clears throat> okay, mine's about the Paranormal Activity franchise, mm-hmm. which uh, is dear to my heart. It was my some of my most comfort, like favorite comfort horror movies. So in Paranormal Activity three, I don't know if you guys see, guys have seen all of them, but in Paranormal Activity three, the it's like the girl Katie and her sister as children, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. their mom ends up dying. Sorry, this is a spoiler if no one's seen it. But their it's the best mom, one of the three. I've seen it. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it's good. I so their mom ends up dying, but in Paranormal mm-hmm. Activity one, Katie's boyfriend Micah jokes. There's a big joke about something like inviting evil into the house or something. And then Micah says, Oh, her Katie's mom shouldn't come over anymore then. Okay. And then in paranormal activity two, <clears throat> Katie says to her sister, well, I don't want us to end up like mom, which to me, it sounds like, like mom's like going crazy or whatever. But in number three, she's dead. She dies when they're kids. So that doesn't make sense at all. But I thought, cause you kind of see their mom die. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought at the end of that movie, they should have had the mom like get up looking kind of possessed like the daughter and also like the grandma because they're like a witch family. And yeah. that was like instead of her dying, that was like her getting kind of possessed. So the whole this whole time, the mom is alive, but kind of like possessed a little bit. And that's why like don't end up like mom. And oh, your mom can't come over because she's psycho. And this leaves it open for another movie to be made. If you see that the mom is alive still. So that would have yeah. been good instead of just like, well, I guess the mom's dead, but that doesn't really make sense because in these movies, she's alive, apparently. Yeah. Unless so. she's a ghost. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> unless she's just unless she's just a, a very she's a like ghost that's possessing and just trying to <laughs> you know what? I, I, I wouldn't doubt it. Some moms are demons, <laughs> that's for sure. Some moms are legit cloven hoof demons. Yeah. I know but, what I'm watching tonight. Paranormal activity. Well, part three, because I haven't seen that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't care. Okay. It won't ruin anything. You're still going to love it. I'm an idiot. I already yeah. forgot. I just know that I have to watch yeah. it. It's good. It's actually really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I liked it. That's fine. Oh, no. Kevin, somebody dies in a horror movie. What a <laughs> fucking <laughs> oh, thing. People die in those movies. Like, everyone you dies. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. You thought it was just emotional horror. No, it's physically horror. They die. But oh wait, right. wait have have you guys? Sorry, one second. Have you guys all seen Paranormal yeah. Activity: The Marked Ones? Yes, that no. one's my favorite one. That was a favorite one. I like totally, yeah, that totally one. Was my favorite too. Totally different setting than rich white people's houses. That's what they all are right. in. It's a it's yep. a different. It's, it's are so they good. all uh, are they all Nothing found knows. footage style? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. I hate found footage. Oh, it's my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, it's the worst. Fuck you, Kevin. Yeah, the, 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 no, the good ones I like. There it is. I, lo- I love Blair Witch. I love no, the no, first Paranormal no. Activity movie. I thought they were great, but it's just like when it's con, like it just drives me crazy when there's so much of it. Good. Yeah, tell him. I love tell him in the mic, Marie. Tell him. That the movie mic. scared the shit out of me when I first. A big poster right yeah. here in the Blair Witch. That movie's it bored the shit out of me. I can see well, that. Yeah. Nobody yeah. asked you, George. I can see it though. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. Yes. All right, you got a plot hole, Dan? I know oh, I, I got at least one more I want to talk about before you guys stop this shit. Um, it's up to you. We have like one more to do. So if you want to do it, you do it. M- mine's like okay. So you do Yeah, it. Dan sucks. Oh, mine's not a great <laughs> one, but it, it's something I, I was reading today because I was looking for them. I'm like, yeah, why did they do that? That's weird. All right. Yeah. 
you guys have seen The Rock with Sean Connery and Nicholas oh, Cage, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, no, but no, of course. No. I know that. Okay. I, I, I'm a girl, so. All right. So <laughs> the whole thing is Sean Connery <laughs> had escaped Alcatraz, right? And so when he's bringing the SEAL team back in, they have to sneak in basically reverse through his escape route, right? And so you know when they have like uh, the furnace that's going and he timed it perfectly to dive under, right? And so he, he's like, he's waiting for it. He dives under and he misses all the things. And then they're waiting. And then he goes and he opens up the door and lets the guys in. And then, but, but if you think about it, if he's going in reverse, why did he escape going through the furnace? Why didn't he just walk through the door that he just opened for everybody? Because he wouldn't does have that, that sense? piece, Kevin. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I already know that one. Yeah, he it's, just it's, it's, around it's, the back. I was door. like, oh, yeah. Like, wait, why did he, why did he dive underneath and time out all the furnaces of all, to escape if all he had to do was just open up the door and bypass it? Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Michael I, Bay? I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Michael Bay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I might as well say my last one because it's, it's very similar to that. So in the movie Saw, when you have the main guy, carry, you know, and he's there and he's trying to reach for that phone, that flip cell phone, he can't grab it, so he grabs the saw and saws off his foot to reach for it, all he has to do is use the saw to grab the cell phone and bring it to him. Or take off oh, his shirt, shit. put it on the cell phone, and bring it to him. Like, uh, you didn't have to chop your foot off. Stupid. But he did have to chop Bottom. his foot off. He Maybe he just his mental state, he was so effed up that he just thought, I mean, it or, made for a good speed. Lazy writing, but yes. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> things, I know, I know. Use logic, game. It doesn't matter how effed up you are. Come on. Yeah. And also, how, how did... How did how did Jigsaw just stay passed out in the center of that room the whole time without making a say? He was pretending to be a dead yeah. body the whole yeah. time, dude. Melatonin. I, well, I snore like a motherfucker. You didn't tell me you didn't. <laughs> <touch one. laughs> fart. I, snore. I know you had a quiet place, Fart. <laughs> <laughs> and then they blame it on the other guys blame each other. He did it. He did it. <laughs> All right, George, close this out, man. All right, man. Well, this wraps us up for another live episode. Thank you for joining us. As always, you can see us here live every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Always see us on Tuesdays on our regular show of Not A Strong Start on YouTube or listen to us on any podcast listening service that you have. I am George. You can follow me at Nicolopolis. Me, Daniel. You can follow me at King Wherever. underscore Sangre. <laughs> Uh, I'm Marie. You can follow me at um, um, I would say underscore. <laughs> <laughs> Marie reviews everything. <laughs> no underscore. I'm, my blood's going straight to my head here, guys. <laughs> look, look, look. And uh, I'm Kevin. You can follow me at Twin Pines Video on Instagram and Twitter. I don't really use Twitter, but okay. <laughs> but okay. Yeah. A fun one. Thank, Thank you, you Bert. Hackle. You're a fun one, Bert. <laughs> yeah. You're a fun one. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Till next time. Fuck you, Kevin. Last one. <laughs>